Nuna Exec and the Nuna Rava are two amazing car seats from one of our favorite brands. And in this video, Mia is going to show you all the differences between those two car seats. Now, if you have any questions about the Nuna Exec, the Nuna Rava, or any other car seat, you should email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com, leave a comment below, or give us a call at 617-383-8259. And if you want a free virtual consultation with Mia, you can book that at mbeans.com slash consultations. Here is the comparison. Hi guys, it's Mia checking in from Magic Beans videos. In today's video, I'm very excited. We are going to compare the brand new Nuna Exec with the Nuna Rava. Now, as is always is the case, if you guys have any questions, you can email us your questions at questions at mbeans.com. You can give us a call at one 600 bean you can find us on social media. We are on Instagram and Facebook. We have a team of really top of the line baby gear gurus here to help you navigate the like completely wild world. That is all of the choices you must face for your baby gear. So give us a call, we're here to help. Now I'm very excited about this review today. Um, we are big fans of Nuna here at Magic Beans. They're wonderful partners to us. Nuna as a brand um, really provides our guests with efficient, excuse me, intuitive baby gear, um, baby gear that can work with your life, provide a good amount of convenience, and always, as is the case with Nuna, is really top of the line in terms of their quality of materials um, and the overall just quality of the product. So Nuna is absolutely wonderful. It's very easy to see why they are so popular with so many of our parents in the world. Now, the first seat in their lineup for convertibles was the Rava. The Nuna Rava from a what our families are looking for for their convertible car seats checks a lot of boxes. Now, when we're comparing the two, the Rava is a true convertible car seat. You will use it rear and forward facing, but once you hit the maximum of the forward facing harness, 49 inches and 65 pounds, you're going to be purchasing a booster seat. The exec is what's known as an all-in-one. And all-in-one car seats are really having a moment. They are rising to popularity. We have a good uptick in parents looking to consolidate the quantity of pieces of baby gear they're going to own to as few as possible. And so with the exec, we're going to be able to use this car seat from birth onward once our child hits the maximum of 49 inches and 65 pounds they are going to start to use this as just a booster seat more on that in just a moment now let's talk about their similarities well both seats nuna has really like such a knack um, for the functions the operations of a seat really getting them to be very smooth, very easy to use. So on both seats, before we get to a point in time where we're going to deposit our child inside the seat, we're able to really easily use a push down button here on either. And Nuna has very explicit um, instructions that are built right into this indicator um, on the recline. So when we're rear facing on either seat, and we've gotten a lot of questions about this, this is the deepest that will have the exec. Now, of course, as we're looking at the seats today, I don't have the infant inserts in, a little bit easier to show the functionality of the seat without having to pull that out. Um, but with the insert, we're gonna go from five pounds and upward. So from birth in your car rear facing both of these seats newborn ready five pounds and up you can rear face with both of these seats to 49 inches and 50 pounds so if you're aware of the like inherent importance in rear facing for as long as possible it's really great that on both of these offerings you are able to accommodate that um, and really work with the seat till your child um, ultimately has to make that transition we always advocate you use the maximums as your transition area transitional excuse me a uh, moment for your seat so here 49 inches 50 pounds 49 inches 50 pounds now once again to speak to just the ease of use 
when we're adjusting now to forward facing, it's it's actually spelled out for me. And I know that there's a good amount that you guys can't tell just from the distance that exists between us, but there's a window. And within that window, you're able to see as your seat is transitioning from one pitch to the next, whether you're in a safe mode. Both the exec and the Raba are color coded. So rear facing is blue, forward facing is red, you know that your window, that the number represented for your recline has to be in that color. So if you're rear facing on a Raba, you're going to be between one and five in the blue window. When we transition to forward facing, we're gonna be in one and five on the red window. Same premise here with the exec. Now there is a disparity um, when it comes to the available recline positions, I call this like first world problems at their finest. Raba, 10 total positions. Exec, only eight. You're going to be fine. The fact that Nuna allows you to have such a generous range in terms of the amount of pitches that your seat can pick. You will not ever have a moment where you think, ah, I wish my exec had two more recline positions. You really can tailor to your child's comfort in either. So let me face these forward. Now you can see we've got the cup holders um, sticking out from either side. Most convertible car seats, if you're purchasing a cup holder, which you'll need, we need a place for juice and snacks and all the things, you're looking at purchasing a separate piece. The exec and the Raba, those cup holders are built in. Now we have questions all the time. Can they be removed? They absolutely can be removed. They are dishwasher safe. So when you get to the point in time where a juice box and a handful of Cheerios is stuck to the bottom of that, very easy to take that off and wash it. And again, comes standard on both. Another huge convenience factor that the two share is their no rethread harness. Now, if you had an infant car seat that required you to rethread the harness, then you know that that can be tedious. When we transition to convertible car seats, it's even more so, um, especially once your child is forward facing, when you need to make those harness adjustments, you have to physically take the seat out of its installation, make those moves, and then reinstall the seat. With either of these options, you're really never going to get to a point in time where you have to do so. And again, height maximum here for the Rava, height maximum here for the exec. There's going to be um, side impact protection on both. That's very comparable. We're getting three layers. Three layers is sort of the industry maximum. If you're shopping around other seats, you're gonna find that three layers is where it sort of is um, the ceiling, excuse me, for all of the seats we work with in terms of those layers of um, side impact. Both seats are going to have steel frames. So you know that the core material on either is like a very durable um, base sort of um, base product. So pardon me. Now, people have asked just in terms of their sizing, is one much bigger than the other? So I'm going to put them back to back for you guys. And we already spoke to the fact that we know that we're gonna get 10 recline positions here eight recline positions here, a major consideration for our families when you're shopping for convertible car seats, maybe for all car seats, but definitely with convertible car seats, is how this seat is going to fit back to front. Well, back to front with both is going to be based on the seat's depth. And now that we're seeing the two in there, um, now granted, of course, they're not exactly level. They're pretty close. I made it a point to find something that was about the same height. They're very similar seats from a depth perspective. Nuna really kept the core shape of a Rava, something that has really benefited them as a brand. The Rava is one of the shortest seats from a depth perspective. So if you are tuning in and you drive a smaller sedan or you're in like a smaller SUV and you're worried about back to front depth, if you found that your infant seat infringed upon passenger and driver, well, both of these seats are going to be very accommodating. Now, that short depth doesn't mean that the child's not comfortable in the seat. It has to do just sort of with how the seats themselves manifest their shape. Of course, as your child is getting older, they're going to be less pitched back in those recline positions. But really, I think, truth be told, you have a very similar experience with either. Um, ultimately, we 
always talk about how in some circumstances that can be a bit of a superficial thing if a car seat is too deep. But if you purchase a convertible car seat that is in fact too deep for your vehicle and then our driver has to manipulate where they're typically comfortable, there are safety implications there. You do want to maintain the integrity of what feels most natural to you as the driver when you're operating a motor vehicle. So huge benefit here that both of these have shorter depths. Now a very cool feature on the exec is this um, anti-rebound panel. And so let me turn the seat sideways so you guys can really see. Actually, why don't I turn this seat sideways? Now we're talking, right? Only took me a couple of minutes to put the two and two together there. Okay, so we're going to be rear facing. Let me move my friend the Rava out of the way a bit. With the exec, and this is unique to the exec, not available on the Rava at this time, Nuna made this anti-rebound panel. You may be familiar with anti-rebound technology from brands like Kleck. Um, anti-rebound technology helps to keep your seat really affixed to where you have it. It prevents rotation. It can mitigate um, head and neck trauma in terms of the reverberation of an accident. And if we're talking about this just for like a, again, like superficial benefit, this is also just a, an extended leg panel if you're forward facing, but this is a really key distinction when we're bookending these two. Um, ultimately, I find that to be an added safety value. Now, both seats are top on my list when we talk about installation. Here's the thing. We get asked all the time, really, we're asked maybe 10, 20 times a week, what is the safest convertible car seat? And the fact of the matter is there's no way for us to provide you with a firm answer to that. There's safety benefits, active safety features, and just in general, each brand we work with, their safety manifests from different features that you may or may not benefit from in an accident. The end all be all, however, of a seat safety is in its installation. And Nuna, when it comes to ease of installation, they're absolute pros. I'm gonna show you on the Rava. So, this is similar between both seats when we're talking about their ease of installation. Now, if you're um, currently in your infant seat and you're wondering about what can installing a convertible car seat, excuse me, is going to look like, well, with your infant seat, you've used lower anchors. But by the time we graduate, to a convertible car seat, or as is the case with the exec, an all-in-one, we're going to be ideally relying on the seatbelt of your vehicle to do your installation. Um, folks can find that a bit off-putting. Just bear in mind, actually, that a seatbelt is used to restrain us as adults. Those lower anchors, those are designed to help families have straightforward installations when they're first trying out car seats. New parents, they uh, are able to sort of have this really conspicuous attachment point. So absolutely lower anchors for infant seats, but for convertible car seats, which can weigh 25 pounds, we want you using the seatbelt. Federal guidelines are gonna require that once a child hits, I believe it's 60 pounds, it may be 65, or rather when the seat and the child's combined weight hits that threshold, you should be installing with the seatbelt Again, it's more deeply anchored into your vehicle. It's safety tested to restrain an adult. So ultimately with either, we're doing the seatbelt installation. Well, Nuna utilizes very clear, again, color indications to help us work our way through the installation. With both seats, again, being redundant here a bit, rear facing is blue, forward facing is red. Both seats are going to have these, really spelled out panels. Here I'm pointing to the red forward facing. And um, ultimately, again, safety of the seat, the totality of the safety of the seat is going to lie in your ability to do this installation really efficiently. Well, Nuna has spelled out for us, if I'm rear facing, um, I'm going to use, let me just uh, wrestle here with this for a moment. If I'm rear facing, I'm gonna be using the blue belt path. If I'm forward facing, I'm going to be using the red belt path. Ultimately, you'll open on either seat, whichever trap door fits with your installation method. 
and of course, talking about the ease of installation, the belt will want to fight with me. Typically more consistent, my friends, in a real vehicle. I make that connection point. Now, this is not an installation video. Please do what our friends at NHTSA ask. See a certified car seat technician to get your seat installed. But ultimately, I make that connection point and then I'm just going to close the panel. I hear that really reassuring click. I love to hear that a sound has served its function. And so that happens and I'm feeling great about that. And I'm installed. And because the seats aren't overly cumbersome, because the seats aren't overly heavy, I can take this between vehicles. I could put this in an Uber if I had to, if I was going to a destination where I knew I could store my seat after the fact. But on both seats, it can't be more explicitly presented to you. And realistically, the actual process of installing the seat, once you get the knack for it, you can do it in under a minute's time without much elbow grease, without much stress. Um, these are very intuitive. And so because that straightforward seatbelt installation, rear and forward facing is consistent between the two, there's a huge added benefit there in terms of your quality of life. So if you're watching this and you think you and your partner have two vehicles and you're not sure if you want to purchase two seats right off the bat, these cannot be easier to switch between vehicles if you opt to go that route, if you travel often. Now let's get back to the exec and let's talk for a moment about its longevity. Now, as we're seeing it here, of course it is harnessed five to 50 pounds rear facing newborn ready. So again, five pounds up to 50 pounds, we can put a baby into the exec. It has a Merino wool insert. You guys know I took it off for our purposes today, but of course in that instance, we'll be nice and reclined. We'll transition as we do with the Rava to go forward facing minimum of 25 pounds um, to forward face in either seat. But again, please use your rear facing maximums as long as you possibly can. But the all-in-one implication here on the exec, they earn its title because you can actually, when you're out, when your child's outgrown the maximum, when we're at 49 inches and 65 pounds, well, instead of going out to shop for a booster seat, you are simply going to take the harness out of the exec. There's an easy storage um, built into the seat for your harness to go within without, again, any like horrible amount of work to achieve. From there, then we transition to just a belt guided booster. And so this is technically going to take you up to 57 inches and 120 pounds. So if you're watching, you're a minimalist. If you're tuning in and you're looking to have, maybe it's in your non-dominant vehicle. Maybe you think you'll go through the stages in your primary vehicle, but you're looking for one seat to really go the distance in a non-dominant vehicle. This could be the only seat your child owns. Now, I can appreciate if there's a healthy dose of skepticism about a seat being used for that long, but Nuna, if we were going to trust the brand to provide us with a textile to withstand that, Nuna is textile aficionados. Both seats, chemical flame retardant free. They have super explicit cleaning instructions in their user's manual. And realistically, you're able to um, again, really trust that this is going to be your seat um, for that really up to 10 years of use. We do want children in seats until they hit that um, 57 inches and 120 pounds. So ultimately, lots of similar talking points here. Let's turn this poor, this poor Rava's face and backwards. Show you guys just how easily this is going to take to uninstall the seat here. Do that a little bit more gracefully than I did the install. Wouldn't you say? So um, both seats, again, chemical flame retardant free, five pound ready. The, um, the uh, installations are going to be almost identical between the two. You'll have your built in cup holders. And really I think the most important point here is that the overall shape and size is not much different between the two if we're comparing the footprint. Um, also worth noting, even the Rava has an extended legroom panel. Let me see if I can get this to cooperate with me. Do, do, do. There we go. My poor seat's having to deal with me spinning around them like a top. So 
both are going to have extended leg room. So if we're talking about parents who are on the taller end of things, my child was like 23 inches long when she was born. She's very, very, very long. Um, if we're talking about wanting to make sure that our seat's accommodated from a foot um, leg accommodation standpoint, if we want something that's going to be comfortable for a taller child, again, both seats offering us some extended leg room um, for our taller children. I know this is a lot to consider. If you guys have any additional questions, email us your questions at questions at mbeans.com. If you want a more hands-on look at these seats, their specific functionality, you can head over to our website, schedule a virtual consultation with me or another member of our team. We appreciate you tuning in and we look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much, Mia. Again, if you have any questions about these products, you can just drop a comment below or email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com. And if you want to have a free virtual consultation with Mia or one of our experts, just go to mbeans.com slash consultations. And before you go, watch another video for Magic Beans videos.